Hi, my name's Sana. I'm a current trainee science teacher at King Solomon Academy. Prior to starting the ARC teacher training programme, I was a student in university, so I haven't had any teaching experience in a school. My overall impression of the Science Mastery programme is that it's very good, it's very thought out and it provides a really good overview for teachers and trainees like myself. It's allowed me to understand what I'm teaching and what level to pitch it at. It has helped me a lot with my planning for my lessons. I think many schools will benefit from using Science Mastery especially if they're using it all through from year 7 to year 11 because it gives a good overview of what students will learn and so you can build on knowledge from what they've learned in year 7 or year 8. It means that new teachers coming in will also have a good idea of what they know and how they can progress students' learning. Having access to Science Mastery resources means that I spend less time planning PowerPoints and more time intellectually preparing for my lessons and thinking about how I'm going to present my lesson and how I can adapt my resources rather than starting from scratch. I think the pre-unit booklet has been the most beneficial resource for me. It has broken down the module into sizeable lessons and it allows me to understand which lesson aims I'm teaching in which lesson and it gives a good overview of the whole topic. Science Mastery Resources have improved my confidence in teaching physics and biology, especially from the notes in the PowerPoint. They, they have many examples of different concepts and it's been very useful to read over before I teach. I love teaching practical lessons, but they can be very stressful. The Science Mastery Resources have made it easier. The Science Mastery Guidance document provides a number of different approaches to a practical session and you can choose the best approach for your class. I would like to improve the structure of my practical lessons to maximise learning. The teacher guidance document is very useful for this. The resources in general have been very helpful in improving my confidence whilst teaching. If I feel more confident, then the students will also feel more confident in learning. I would advise trainees using Science Mastery to utilise all the resources. There's many resources. I particularly like the pre-unit booklet, which helps you understand everything you're going to teach in this module and it gives you a good insight of what you need to know and to touch up on your own knowledge. And to touch up on your own knowledge. I would recommend Science Mastery to another trainee. Um, it's very useful in terms of planning. It means that you're not spending ages making PowerPoints, but more so that you can spend your time thinking about how you're going to present your lesson and how you can adapt your lesson to your students. Mini white boards and pens, and then eye contact this way. Um, my name is Ruth Armitage. I'm a science teacher. I'm also um, assistant principal at King Solomon Academy. So my overall impressions of teaching Science Mastery are fantastic. I'm teaching it for the first time this year to Year 9 and, and I'm finding the teacher preparation booklet specifically very helpful because it gives me both where the pupils have come from and where they're going. And because this Year 9 cohort, for example, I didn't teach last year so I have no memory of what they learnt last year but in those booklets I can see at which topics they learn, which specific skills, so I can refer back to that. But it's also really helpful looking to where these skills are leading, so what, what they need them for. Um, I know biology A-level very well, but I don't know physics um, A-level so well, and I didn't do chemistry A-level, so knowing the topics, for example, in quantitative chemistry that they do need in A-level, it's, it's great to have that. So using the Science Mastery resources has meant I've been able to use a lot more of my time in marking exit tickets and marking work and therefore thinking specifically about adapting the resources to my classes rather than teaching from scratch because there's such a solid, um, well thought out plan so far. 
it's meant that I can then mark those exit tickets and edit the next lessons to fit what the pupils did and didn't get. There's also a huge amount of work that's been done around the practical resources and mapping out which practical skills need to be delivered at which points, which means you can focus those practical lessons in on specific sections of the practical, which helps to streamline things and know that over the whole three years, the class will get everything they need from different practicals across the year group. The maths and science lessons I've also found really helpful and I've been coordinating with Year 9's maths teacher to make sure that when I'm teaching things like indices, I'm teaching it at the right time compared to when they get it in maths um, so that they're having a nice experience of these skills and that I'm not teaching it in a different way to the maths um, but that it fits in with their curriculum both across maths and science. So I teach eight hours of science a week um, to two different classes. So I, I teach the same lesson twice, twice each day, um, which is fantastic because it means I can teach it and then think about what went well, what didn't went, go well, and then sometimes edit things slightly. So, so today's lesson, when we were going through the notes of meiosis, I actually realised that it wasn't so clear where the notes were referring, referring to on the diagram. So I've inserted some arrows to make that a little bit more clear. And when describing it, I realised that I've used some words that I hadn't previously explained. So I've kind of put a bit of an extra definition in there so repeated teaching I really very much enjoy um, but in terms of how teaching science mastery has changed the time that I spend planning it's meant that the, the lessons I'm, I'm quite rigorous in my planning in my career so far and I always want to make sure the lesson is the best it can possibly be despite the fact that my job means I'm doing a lot of other things in the week but it means that that pressure of creating an excellent lesson is off me now and it's just about tweaking it and editing it and being re really rigorous and going through making sure it all makes perfect sense to me but then maybe finding an extra diagram or we've got a really big focus on literacy at the moment inside outside and beyond and so thinking through any other words um, like cytokinesis doing a bit of research the, the, the um, prefix cyto being Greek and cell and, and therefore being able to talk and delve into those words. So it's raising the quality of my teaching significantly because the, the slightly limited time I have to do my planning is now really super focused because lots of the heavy lifting has been done. <music> So I would recommend using Science Mastery to other teachers. Um, the, the, the lessons that are planned are so broad that every lesson you can just pick and choose what fits your class that time. So for example, there are slides specifically planned on how to answer explain questions. And so often um, I'll, I'll find one from a different point in that topic and edit it and use it where it fits me. The volume of resources that are available you could keep teaching the same topic for weeks and weeks if you wanted to. In my opinion, from my experience using Science Mastery, it, it's fantastic for all types of pupils in all types of schools. I mean, the, the beauty of it, teaching it in Year 9 especially, is knowing that these pupils have had it from 7 and 8, and so there's continuity, and I know exactly what they've been um, exposed to previously. But the quality of the resources are fantastic, and I've been teaching science for a while, um, and, and from, from what I have taught before in these topics, I'm learning more every lesson about different ways of doing something. So I'm teaching meiosis today and, and in the notes there was an example of how you can use a, a paper cutout to demonstrate the duplication of the chromosomes and I've never thought to do that before and, and it's been fantastic um, to, to, to learn different skills and new ways of doing things that I've done a number of times already. Another strength of the Science Mastery programme is that at the end of every lesson there's an opportunity and an invitation to give feedback to the people who have planned the work and, and being able to do that and, and knowing that my thoughts and reflections on how it's being taught gets fed into pupils receiving this work across the art network um, is fantastic and, and, and my experience of teaching my small two class, well they're not small, 32 children, but is, is going to improve and support pupils across the, across the network is, is really fantastic.